Welcome to Straight Up With The Word broadcast. This is an opportunity that I've been looking forward to all week long to share with you from the Word of God some awesome information that I know will change your life forever. Now, I'm, uh, I'm the pastor of Kingdom Life Christian Center. My bishop's name is Bishop Ricardo Reeves. And we have been learning and, and he's been teaching us some great things about the Word of God, about the Kingdom of God. And as we pursue God's will for our lives, we are constantly seeking to understand better and better what God has for us and for you and all of us that are believers to know who we are in Christ Jesus. Now, uh, I want to read from to you from, uh, well, first of all, let's go to the Lord in prayer and then we'll start to look into this word of God this, uh, this afternoon. Father, we thank you right now that we have opportunity to share your word with your people. We pray, Father God, that you will be glorified in all that we say and do and that somebody will understand and be saved according to your word, according to your principles and precepts. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right. Um, I want to entitle the message that I'm sharing with you, You Were Created to Rule. And the reason I chose this, and you'll see in a few minutes as I read the scripture. The scripture that I'm going to start with is found in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And he and, and have dominion over all the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over everything that moveth upon the earth. Now, what God is saying to uh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit is saying here to us today is, is that he designed us with a purpose and a plan. And his purpose when he created man was for man to rule and reign over this earth. Now, why is, aren't we seeing more of that this day? What I believe is because many do not understand why Jesus came. Why Jesus came was to restore us back to our place of rulership and lordship in this earth. Yes, to save our souls, to die on the cross, and, and every, everything that has been said thus far, uh, everything he's done, wonderful, great, I'm saved. But is that the end of the story? No, that's only the beginning. The beginning, uh, and it takes us all the way back to the beginning once we understand this and receive it according to what uh, God had in store. Now, think about this now. Look over here in Genesis again, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And let's look what, and see what God done in the creation... <laughs> Excuse me, <coughs> in the creation of man. And God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Man became a living soul. Listen now. God breathed. Did he breathe into any, everything that was in the garden? No, he didn't. He didn't breathe into a dog, a cat, a cow, a lion, a bear. He breathed. In the man, he created man from the dust of the ground, and he breathed into him the breath of life. In other words, God breathed his DNA into Adam, and Adam became a living soul. He became, he became a living soul. Now listen, if God has breathed into man, what did he breathe? He breathed himself. So listen very carefully. 
Meditate on this truth. Don't just take this truth and go, well, yeah, he breathed in the man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's this not like you breathing into another individual. We're talking about God Almighty. He calls life to come. He calls that which was created to come to life by his breath in his body. Now, we're not talking about mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. We're not talking about that. We're talking about uh, 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 the dirt. He was created from dirt, and God breathed in him his life, everlasting life. God is eternal. So when he breathed into this dirt, this dirt became eternal as well. That's why we can have, and we do have, eternal life. Every individual on this planet has eternal life. Listen very carefully to me because what I'm about to tell you, you had best take it and believe it and know that it's the truth. God Almighty started all of this by breathing into one man, his breath, and that man became a living soul. And because of that, because of him who he is, he is holy. He is eternal. He has no end. Therefore, what he created in us and breathed into us is he, his eternality. So that means that every individual is eternal. Now, well, if that's the case, then where will those who do not receive Christ end up or wind up? Well, you think about it. Eternal, you can't die. I mean, yes, your, your body dies, but we're talking about your soul now. We're talking about the spirit of man will not die. It will, the body die, go back to the dust, of the, but where will my soul go? My soul will either go and spend eternity with God in the kingdom, excuse me, or eternity in the lake of fire where death and hell will be cast, where the devil will be cast into the lake of fire. And you say, what is the lake of fire? I make no reservations in saying what the lake of fire is. And, and the best thing I can describe the lake of fire to be is a volcano where there is hot lava. The fire, fire and brimstone is what it's called. Now, I wasn't intending to go to that place on this in this message but it seems to be the appropriate place to say it the lake of fire and so because we are eternal we live forever either in heaven or in the lake of fire you will never die your the soul is designed to live forever god's dna is in man and every <clears throat> individual has it Every individual has God's DNA. Think about it. Think about it. So what do we do? Well, wh what do we do to, to ensure that we have eternal life? Well, I'm so glad you asked. First of all, we need to w repent. And in order to do that, we must believe on Jesus Christ as the Savior of this world. Now, in John chapter 3, we have a man by the name of Nicodemus who came to visit Jesus one night. And he wanted to talk to him about something that was on his heart. He had seen Jesus around the city and he was impressed with what he saw. And so he came to Jesus by night and he said this. Now, we're going to get back to this other part about creation, but you need to understand something that is so important. As a matter of fact, let me say this, too, before I get into that part, because I want you to, I want you to um, connect with what, what I'm saying, what is being said here in the scriptures. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, the son of Nazareth, I mean, the, uh, is the king of heaven. He is also the king of kings and the lord of lords. And 
He is G- God's man and God's woman, Adam and Eve, had the assignment to rule and reign on earth in the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> that was their assignment. So when they sin and turn over their authority <clears throat> to them by the devil, in other words, in Genesis 3, they lost their authority to rule and reign because they ate of the tree which God said not to eat. Now, Jesus was born and came to this planet to gain back that authority that was lost in the garden, and praise God, he did it. Amen? He did it. When Jesus hung on the cross and said, it is finished, it was a done deal, it's over now, we now have uh, been restored once we receive Jesus as Savior. We are now restored to that place of authority and uh, kingship and lordship in the earth. We are now left in charge. We are now in charge of the earth. Listen to what I'm saying now. This is, this is a lot to take on. We are in charge. When Jesus said to his disciples how to pray, he said, pray this, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we are to do God's will on earth as it is in heaven. We are to accomplish his purpose and his plan so that what happens in this earth is the same thing that will happen, that is happening in heaven. So get ready now. Get ready now. Hallelujah. Thank God that we have opportunity to go forth with this word.